Hello, welcome to the Citrus Garden. If you're new here, my name is Christina. If you're not new here, hi, welcome back. It's great to see you. This is a reading for Aquarius sun signs, or if you have significant Aquarius placements in your chart and are needing a masculine energy to work with or balance within yourself, then this reading is for you. So Aquarius, uh, the overall context of your reading actually is from this book here. It's uh, a collection of poems by Mary Oliver called Devotion. So this caught my eye when I was getting ready to do your reading and so I just flipped open a page and it it feels like this is this is the this is the overall context sorry I'm getting caught on a word here almost is sticking out to me like the, like there's something that's like very close that's happening for you anyway so this poem's called almost a conversation um I'll also type it in the description box below, but I'll read it to you. She she writes a lot about like nature. Uh, and so this is a poem that she wrote about an otter. So it goes like this. I have not really not yet talked with otter about his life. He has so many teeth. He has trouble with vowels. Wherefore our understanding is all body expression. He swims like the sleekest fish. He dives and exhales and lifts a trail of bubbles. Little by little, he trusts my eyes and my curious body sitting on the shore. Sometimes he comes close. I admire his whiskers and his dark fur, which I would rather die than wear. He has no words. Still, what he tells about his life is clear. He does not own a computer. He imagines the river will last forever. He does not envy the dry house I live in. He does not wonder who or what it is that I worship. He wonders, morning after morning, that the river is so cold and fresh and alive, and still I don't jump in. So, I feel like, for you Aquarius, um, first of all, 444 might be significant synchronicity for you, but also that I feel like you're dealing with someone who's almost like the otter in this story, where it's kind of like, different languages or different ways of being where it's kind of like perhaps there's like a, like a trouble understanding one another is kind of how it's coming through but regardless it's kind of like you still are communicating in some way or like you're meeting on the shore is kind of how it's feeling um but anyway so i'm seeing you as being here the touch the sky energy so put put yourself into the story however you see fit. I'll, I'll describe both energies, but I'm putting you in this position, but again, flip it however it resonates for you. So touch the sky. This one just talks to me about like, um, almost like a daydreaming kind of energy. It's very, it's very peaceful and creative is kind of how I'm seeing this one today. Um, and it seems like, so it's kind of like, this is, this is Mary Oliver on the shore, right? Just observing nature is kind of how it's looking to me. Um, and then the next card coming out is the moon dance, which I feel like is the other person in this dynamic. Because it's coming out with the moon dance, it kind of feels like they're in their emotions in some way. They're perhaps being very much like influenced by moon energy. So depending on what that is for them, it could be just like an emotional overwhelm of sorts or confusion or just like feeling swayed by emotional energies perhaps. But it's like, it's, it's coming through here. The first three cards that all came out together here, you have the two of wands and then the raccoon and the wolf. And so the two of wands from this deck is like, having a direction or a purpose to move towards. I feel like this is also talking about the fact that you and this other are on this path together. It's like your paths are aligned and they're getting closer together, right? It's like almost, it's like, it's, it's like almost, a, almost a conversation or almost a coming together, but perhaps not quite yet. And it's kind of like this energy with the raccoon and the wolf here. I'm seeing you as the wolf. Um, but again, flip it however it resonates for you, where it's kind of like 
the raccoon talks about someone who is extremely talented or gifted at something perhaps like it usually talks about like an artist doesn't have to be that exactly but there's a reluctance to sort of step out of the shadows is kind of how it's coming through here a reluctance to step out of the shadows because of for whatever reason right like for whatever reason it is for them um and here with the wolf it's kind of like trying to beckon them out is kind of how it's feeling by but i feel like here with the with the with the wolf there is sort of like a caution here about like um respecting that other people have different ways of being right like like the otter like that like that phrase where she talks about like um the river, the river, how how she does not want to jump in the river and the otter would also not, like, does not envy her dry home. Like, that kind of thing where it's, like, there's just, like, perhaps, like, a difference of um, opinion or environment, perhaps, that might be sort of, like, a... I don't want to necessarily say that it's like a, a deal breaker because you are in alignment, right? It's like you are coming together here. It's just kind of like if you're in the wolf position, um, don't expect necessarily that this one's going to change all of their habits and follow your direction is kind of how it's coming through. Like it's kind of, it's kind of just like there's a difference of whatever, something, opinions or environment or something that um should be respected is how that's coming through but anyways so i'm seeing this this raccoon what also came out underneath here is the oyster which is emphasizing this sort of energy of like still in the shell is kind of how it's feeling or they're keeping something hidden perhaps like that energy is kind of coming through as well especially at the cards coming out at the end there's something that they're not, they're reluctant to share with you, like some sort of truth or perhaps even like a gift of some, they're, they're, um, <laughs> it's like something that they perhaps have created, but like no one knows about it or no one has seen it or they just don't want to show anything at, like about, they don't want to show anyone about this gift or talent of theirs because it's something that's very personal to them, perhaps, right? It's like it's very, it's a very personal expression is kind of how it's coming through where it's like they're perhaps like reluctant to show it to others. Um, and I feel like they're in this space a lot. And for you... You actually have here the Empress, which is kind of like, I feel like, I feel like your energy is very healing to this one, but it's kind of like, um, with the, with the Empress, like, this is more of a fem, like, because, because this is a masculine focused reading, masculine energy focused reading, I should say, um, the the guidance here is to be more in a feminine energy is kind of how it's feeling to be more like like nurturing and receiving of what it is that is going on like sort of like not pushing not pushing whatever this dynamic is right like not pushing it um sort of even like maybe even taking a step back from it because especially if you have these energies like, pushing this energy really does not help at all. <laughs> Speaking from experience here. Um, so, the next card coming out you actually have here is the the Art of Seduction. So, if, if, if this is a romantic relationship, it kind of feels like you are aligning in some way. Because um, the next card out you have is the Seven of Pentacles. So, this card does talk to me about aligning. But it's kind of like there are steps... Um, there's a process. It's kind of like you got to build something or like um, perhaps build trust with them in some way. But, and it's kind of like small 
small um, successes maybe, or like small steps are really important to celebrate. This kind of sounds coming through. Like gradual progress, right? I feel like that's really important here. And you also have here the temperance card because I actually, I actually feel like, so this is, so of course temperance talks about patience, but it's more so talking to me about like the balance between fire and water because because right now your energy Aquarius feels a lot like this here with the wolf where it's very fiery, but also it's the earth energy, right? So it's kind of like, um, th so there's a lot of passion in this relationship for sure. There's a lot of fire, a lot of desire, a lot of this sort of like seductive energy, but I feel like that might actually be get like making this one retreat more because <laughs> kind of they're in because the, they're in the shadows I'm, I'm not saying that it's like they're in a shot like they might be do, doing shadow work of some sort but it's kind of like they're in a period of like needing rest perhaps or like needing um quiet or something like that and it's kind of like with a big fiery energy it almost makes them want to like retreat more because it's like they right now they need rest right like imagine if someone just shines a bright light in your in your face when you're trying to sleep like it's that kind of energy so anyway so what i always see with this temperance card is like if there is any fire almost to like water is needed right like water is needed um because you have the ace of cups coming out next right it's like emotional energy is what's helpful here not the fire is kind of how it's coming through um with the ace of cups i feel i feel like you have something to offer them is kind of how it's coming like of course love right but it's like the next card coming up here is my home is my castle could be something tangible or like some sort of offer or something like that here the, my home is my castle something that you have an abundance of it seems like it's kind of, so whether or not that's love or whatever your your affection perhaps or like whatever it is it's like that you have an abundance of it perhaps this is just like an expression of love of some sort that you're offering to this one Because you also have the Two of Cups out next. So you have the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups coming out one after another, which is like a really positive sign for this relationship. It kind of just, it feels like though, because what what's coming out ne underneath this, because this is what you want, is kind of how it's feeling. Like this is what you're moving towards. I feel like for them as well, but f for them, it's kind of like, um, there's an element here of like, almost like surprise because it, the next card coming out is this transformation, which is kind of like if you are making the offer Aquarius, it's kind of, or like you're expressing something to them in some way, perhaps just like whatever, it could be small. It, it could, it's almost like something here with like, you have so much of this energy that like, even just like giving them a little of it is like very surprising to them it's kind of like a like a me and it, like they're surprised by it they're not expecting it and it's, it's actually almost causing a transformation within them like they're going through some sort of transformation because of this energy that you're giving to them in some way like it's kind of like they're surprised by it because what's coming out underneath this you had the mother of swords that came out sideways and then the five of cups that came out beside it. I feel like this is describing like an energy that they're used to is kind of how it's coming through. The five of cups talks to me about disappointment and the mother of swords, especially from this deck has been talking about like sort of a harsh energy or like very critical energy. So it could be something where it's like they've been in the past perhaps or like their past relationships or like they've experienced a lot of disappointment generally 
in relationships because of critical energies, right? Like, en like a mother of swords that's not upright. Very harsh with their words, perhaps, or like harsh in general. Um, and with the Five of Cups, it's feeling like it has had a very uh, perhaps lasting sort of effect on their perhaps well-being is kind of how it's coming through. So it's kind of like when you give a kind word or like you say something kind or nice or whatever, love it. Again, it feels small. It, it might even be something where it's like you just, you say something just sort of offhand perhaps or very casually um, where it's kind of like, because it's, ki it's kind of just like for you that's a normal or it's like it's uh, something that you have in abundance where it's like for you it kind of doesn't feel like it's like your home. This is like a natural state for you where it's like you're you perhaps you're like very giving with it wants to come through as like your words right like how you speak is very kind or um, perhaps compliments even, but it's kind of like, like something that perhaps you don't even think twice about, right? It's like, you just, you just say it and it's kind and it heals or whatever. And then it's kind of like, it causes this huge transformation within them. It's kind of, how, it feels like, a, like a big deal is kind of how it's coming through because it, the, the eight of swords, um, in this deck did show itself, but it didn't come out. So that the Eight of Swords in this deck is sort of like the butterfly that's closed up and there's eight swords. Whereas kind of like, it's like the butterfly opens when you say this. <laughs> um, because it's kind of like, um, you have here the Ace of Swords and the Judgment. With the Ace of Swords, it's like, it's like so much clarity and truth. So it could have something to do with what you're saying or like, um, perhaps something about what you're saying or just seeing about them or it's, it's coming through very much with like, so this might, this might be a friend. I'm not sure, but you do have the Art of Seduction here. So I don't know take that as it resonates it's just kind of feeling like there's like <laughs> I don't know why I just pause there I feel like it's kind of it's kind of like just like they're Perhaps they're just left speechless. <laughs> they're just left speechless about what this, what this gift is of like, whatever it is that you're giving to them, Aquarius. It's like, it leaves them speechless. They weren't expecting it. And it's kind of like they have almost like a, a judgment energy where it's kind of like they are freed from some sort of like, well, that's the thing though. I feel like it's, I feel like it does have a very positive effect on like transforming some aspect of like perhaps how they think about themselves or like their, how they think about themselves is kind of how it's coming through or how they see themselves or um, so perhaps it has to do with like, whatever this raccoon energy is like what like a gift of theirs right it's like or even something that like they don't think other people notice about them but it's like to you it's very obvious right it's like you're noticing something about them that to you is very obvious but to them like perhaps like nobody has noticed that thing about them before so it's kind of like when when you speak about this or when you share the kind word or whatever it is that you're doing it's kind of like it frees them from this like mental prison that they've been in it's kind of how it's feeling um because the next cards that you have here you have three um 
you have three spirit cards coming out in a row where you have the sea serpent, the cosmic egg, and the unicorn, where the sea serpent talks about healing emotional wounding and also expressing desire, right? It's kind of like, I feel like after this is said or after whatever this exchange of, perhaps it is a conversation, right? It's, but perhaps it's not verbally. <laughs> It's a, it's a conversation, but perhaps it's not like with words. It's some sort of nonverbal communication, perhaps, where it's kind of like um, it has a very healing effect is what I'm seeing with the sea serpent. This is also the sacral chakra. So it's kind of like whatever is being said or expressed or exchanged here, it kind of like helps them to heal some sort of like creational or like like their what it is that they can create here with the raccoon like or their perhaps artistic ability but it doesn't have maybe artistic ability or it's just like whatever it is that they're they're doing in in secret <laughs> whatever it is that they're doing that they're not sharing with others it's kind of like whatever it is that is being said actually helps them to um express this more and you also have here the cosmic egg and the unicorn so this talks about unfolding consciousness it actually helps them to complete a cycle is kind of how it's coming through and also with the unicorn it like almost like opens up their third eye so whatever it is that you're saying Aquarius I feel like it is having like a very significant healing effect but also perhaps like spiritual um, expansion kind of energy here with the judgment. It's like helping them to complete some sort of cycle, maybe. But, like, there is kind of, like, this energy coming through, because it is a transformation, right? So if it is he a healing transformation, it's, ki it's kind of like, there may be, um, because healing is not a linear journey. That's what I see with this cosmic egg as well, where it's kind of like, it is a spiral. It kind of like goes back. Um, there are cycles to healing. So it's kind of like even though you've perhaps helped them with one layer of the healing process, it's kind of like another one becomes uh, another, I don't want to call it an issue, but it's kind of like another... <laughs> wound perhaps or another layer of the healing process becomes um revealed is kind of how it's coming through because the next cards out you have are the seven of swords so again as i mentioned the eight of swords was the one that sort of like popped up but didn't actually come out so i feel like that's where it's like they're going through this transformation where it's like the eight of swords energy where Perhaps they feel like they're not good enough about something or that they are feeling trapped or stuck or in some sort of like mental quote unquote like prison. Like they can't get unstuck from something. So I feel like that's changing, but then it's almost like one more layer down is the seven of swords. So it again, this is, it, it's feeling more like because normally this card has like a very negative connotation, but again, it, it feels kind of like here with the oyster and the raccoon, whatever it is that they're hiding <laughs> in secret, it doesn't have to be a negative thing. It's kind of just like there's something that they're just keeping to themselves for the time being, um, something that they prefer not to share, right? It's kind of like there's something here about like, but I feel like here what the um, the Six of Swords is kind of something where her, whatever it is that they're holding on to, like it feels kind of like something that's like very burdensome or very difficult and they don't want to burden you with that is kind of how it's coming through to me. Like, but it also is, is putting a heavy burden on them as well um, because what I wanted to know more about what it was. And it was the Ten of Swords and the Moon. It's just, it's a really difficult 
situation or energy. I feel like it's past, but I'm not sure. The Ten of Swords is kind of just like the worst of the, like the worst scenario that, like the worst memory perhaps, or the worst situation that they could have gone through. It's like that, that's what they are not telling you about. Like, it's like they're, they're keeping that to themselves, which is totally understandable. Like, no one wants to, like, revisit this energy. But it feels like because they're in the moon energy, what's coming out under, like, beside this was the Seven of Cups. So you have Seven Seven and also the Seven of Pentacles. So you have Seven 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 in this reading as well. Um, where it's kind of, it's like there's, I'm seeing this as being, like, both of these cards... Sorry, both of these cards have this energy of like one to six, right? Where it's like, I wanted to flip this card because it's coming out the moon, which I am feeling like is like right now, six of their cups are like, if we're talking about like proportionally, like their emotions are mostly in the moon energy where it's like they have six cups that are focused on the moon of like whatever this sort of like emotional energy is, most of that is focused on this 10 of swords energy. But it's kind of like they have one cup that's focused on the sun, which is this happiness and like the ace of cups with you, right? So it's like they're feeling both is kind of how it's feeling. Like, but most of the cups are facing the moon, which is emotional about whatever this, um, Ten of Swords is like they're they're really feeling this energy. I feel like it's um, again something that they have to work through on their own, especially with healing. You can't rush healing. You can't speed it up. It takes as long as it takes. I feel like there's um, something here about like again just being patient and here with the six of wands ending like it they are going to find success in this they are going to because you do have the judgment card it's like they are going to overcome whatever challenge it is that they're facing it feels very much like an emotional sort of uh an emotional and also like swords like water and swords right it's all it's all the cups and the swords energy so like they're in their head a lot perhaps they're like revisiting old pains or wounds or the ten of swords whatever that was for them um betrayals what i just heard perhaps in a past relationship there was betrayal and it's kind of like they have that right now six out of the seven cups are focused on the moon. They do they are they do have love for you though here with the ace of cups. It's just kind of like right now all the other energies are overpowering that at the moment. So, Aquarius, I'm going to leave it there. I hope that was helpful for somebody. Um if this reading resonated with you please like subscribe or leave a comment down below it helps so much thank you for sharing your energy with me and i hope you have a great night bye